Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And we want to tell you that today we're going to talk about our Benefit Enrollment Center. And if you're new to SCAN and you're not familiar with it, well, I think this is going to be perfect for you because we're going to show you how you might be able to save some money. And you know what? That's going to be good for your heart. So stay tuned. Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to SCAN FYI. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. You can see that my guest today, Susan and I, we got the memo, we're wearing red. <laughs> so my guest today is Susan Salvento. Susan is our Benefit Enrollment Center Manager. Good morning, Susan. Thanks for joining me. Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. Yes, see, we're, we're planning ahead here because when you're watching yeah. this at home, it is Valentine's Day. So as I said, Susan is our uh, Benefit Enrollment Center Manager, and I want to have her talk a little bit about that. We always like to feature our Benefit Enrollment Center information at the beginning of the year, so we're running a little bit late this year. But Susan, why don't you tell us a little bit about what is the BEC for people who don't know? So the BEC, um, short for the Benefit Enrollment Center, is a well it's located in our scan office which is uh, we are a nonprofit organization in Eatontown and what we do is we go out into um, senior housing and we go out to community centers for seniors and we screen <clears throat> we screen uh, individual seniors and uh, people that are disabled for low income Medicare uh, beneficiaries and disabled adults we work with to ensure they're receiving all the benefits and savings they are entitled to major benefit savings like Medicare savings programs, prescription plans, energy, transportation, and food stamps. Um, so the process is we do a pr quick presentation either in community centers or senior housing, and we tell people what they may be entitled to. Things like food stamps, which, and every year that eligibility changes, right. you know, the eligibility, eligibility income increases. So, in the event you thought you might not be eligible last year, you possibly could be eligible this year. Um, and that's the big one. That's But there's also other programs like Medicare savings programs, which actually would, um, they would pay for, this program in particular would pay for your Medicare portion. So this year that was increased to $174. So that's another program. There's energy, there's two different energy assistance programs that we could certainly apply for. And just to, to, to give you an example of how um, this worked last year, last year we, the Benefit Enrollment Center had over 532 unique participants that we helped out with getting programs. Uh, with that number, there was over 945 applications submitted. And if you were to work out all the numbers in dollars, we saved our seniors in Monmouth County over a million dollars. That's a lot of money, no matter how you cut it. That's mm -hmm. a lot of money. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's just a screening. That's all we have to do. Of course, you do have to offer your financial information, uh, but that's how we determine whether or not you're eligible. And we're actually even networking now with other agencies in the community to kind of um, reach out to those seniors with programs that we may not particularly be uh, be applying for for our seniors too. So what I want to just remind everyone is that the phone number you, you see on the screen, 732-587-5906, right there on the screen, that is how you can reach the Benefit Enrollment Center. And here's the thing, as Susan said, you're not going to know if you're eligible until you just pick up the phone and make that phone call. And mm -hmm. maybe you weren't eligible last year, two years ago. You may be eligible now. You're not going to know if you don't make a free phone mm -hmm. call. And and the service is all entirely free as well, right? The service is free, absolutely. Um, I would be calling people. If you give me a call, I would certainly call you. We do a quick screening. And then the next step is to actually, and that's the difference about the Benefit Enrollment Center. We're not going to send you a form in the mail and say, complete this and send it in. We're actually going to sit with you and complete the application and submit it for you, which that's the key point here, because we know so many yes. of our seniors uh, just they don't have computers or they're they're just not able to process that uh, the application process. So we're we're really um, it, it's 
we go a step above that. That's how I like to point it out. And I, and I think that's really very much appreciated because in our years at SCAN, we know that there are some seniors who simply are, they're just not able to complete the application mm -hmm. and that's what stops them from getting the benefit. That's, that's, yeah. that's not right. So, yeah. you know what, Susan, why don't you give an example of, of a way that uh, the BEC has helped a senior? Yeah. So, um, I'm not sure. Uh, well, to begin with, I'm relatively new to, to this to this position. I started in October. And to me, my eyes were like just wide open when I sat and I started doing these benefits for some, for some of our seniors. I met with a woman last week that's in her high 80s. And, uh, you know, she lives in an apartment and she shared with me that she keeps her heat in her home at 47 degrees. And I was startled. I said, how could you, how, why do you do That's that? It's cold. It's um, cold. She said, because I can't afford it. And, you know, when we looked into her, um, you know, her income, she was clearly eligible for Lifeline, which is a $225 uh, credit to your electric or gas bill. And there's also LIHEAP, which is another $300. So there's um, different programs out there that could really impact someone's financial situation. You know, when you start adding up all of the benefits between that and food stamps, which is, which is about like $100, at least $100 a month now, um, the Medicare savings program is $174 a month. When you start adding all those up, your financial situation is really impacted. You know, no one should have to be hungry. No one should have to be cold. You should Not have at all. Electricity, you should have heat. And again, I am, I encourage everyone who is uh, feeling in need, or if you know someone who might benefit from this service, please call the number on the screen. That's what we're here for. You know, one of the things we always talk about at SCAN is uh, benefits that are available. But you know what? The benefits are of zero value if, one, you don't know they're out there, mm -hmm. and two, you have to take advantage of them. Mm -hmm. So we want you to do that. That's why Susan is with SCAN. So please call her. Call me. You know, and even if it's if it's not you, if you're say, sitting there saying, oh, I got a call from my friend the other day and she's really struggling financially, have her give me a call because there may be something out there. Even if you're behind in payments on gas or electric, there are other programs that really help people that may be in the rears with those payments as well. So if you have any questions in particular, because this is just a brief overview, I want you to just call that number on your screen, talk to sure. Susan, get your answers. And uh, you know what? I'm going to be really optimistic that we're going to find some way to help you improve things in your life, right? Mm -hmm. This is true. Okay, so that was the Benefit Enrollment Center at SCAN. And today you got to meet Susan Salvento. She's our Benefit Enrollment Center Manager, and she is there for you. But you got to call you. her. She's not going to call you. Yeah, okay. call me. You're a call. All right. Well, I appreciate everyone listening today. And Susan, thank you for being my guest. You're welcome. Remember out there, if it's important to you, it's important to us. I'm Andrea Tarr. We'll see you next time on Scan FYI. Bye, everyone. And uh, bye, bye. bye, Susan. Bye.